AV hard blocks can be tricky to remember, as they all seem too similar to each other. Today we're going to break it down into a fun Olympic story. A block is simply a disruption in the delivery of electrical signals between the atria and the ventricles. To understand the blocks, we need to understand what a normal rhythm looks like. The P waves represent the atrial contraction, while the QRS complexes represents the ventricular contractions. The PR interval goes from the start of the P wave to right before the Q wave. And it's usually normally between three to five little boxes. Our first block in the Olympics will be the sprint, as you can see by this image of Usain Bolt. His longer leg length allows for a longer stride and therefore greater speed. Here we have a normal rhythm showing a PR interval of five little boxes. Now below it, we have a first degree block where the PR interval is an exaggerated 11 little boxes long, like the longer steps Usain Bolt takes. In a first heart block, the electric signal is delayed and therefore prolonged. The PR interval will be more than five little boxes or larger than one large box. The second heart block is composed of two different ones, but both contain a drop which is due to the electrical signals not reaching the ventricles in time. In the first one, called Mobitz Type 1, we will have a lengthening of the peer interval, followed by a drop of the QRS. I want you to think of the Olympic triple jump, where an athlete runs, hops, and jumps. During running, his stride is shorter and represents a normal peer interval, but during hopping, his stride becomes longer, and finally, the big jump represents the drop. So for Mobitz Type 1, think of run, hop, and jump. In this rhythm, we can see the peer interval starting normal when she runs, lengthening when she hops, and the QRS dropping when she jumps, leaving us with two P waves with no QRS in between. Mobitz Type 2 will be the Olympic long jump. In this case, the athlete runs and goes straight into the big jump. Similarly, there is no change in the PR interval, and the only abnormality will be a randomly missed QR in no particular order. Our third and last block will be dodgeball. I personally think dodgeball should be an Olympic sport, but my opinion aside, this is when the atria and ventricles beat independently from each other. The same way dodgeball is completely unpredictable, as you can see by the image where one player is in offense throwing a ball, while another player is in defense by dodging a ball in a very impressive manner. We can see in the rhythm a long PR, followed by a dropped QRS, a normal PR, a dropped QRS, and then a longer PR. You will also see some of these. To wrap it all together, let's recite the fun mnemonic of our Olympic Games. Looking at the rhythm strips on the right, just remember, sprint, hop jump, just jump, and do it all. Again, sprint, hop jump, just jump, and do it all. That is it for the video. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Study hard and good luck on your exams.